All right, take your Bible with me to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 15. Glory to God. I say glory to God. 1 Corinthians, chapter number 15. 1 Corinthians, chapter number 15. If you found it, shout hallelujah. Glory. Shout it, God is good. Shout it, God is good. Amen. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse 39, we see in the Bible says, let's read it, all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, another of bears. There are also celestial bodies, which is heavenly bodies, and terrestrial bodies, which is earthly bodies. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, for one star differs from another star in where? In glory. Let's read that phrase again. And uh, one star differs what? From another star where? In glory. Verse 42. So also, 41 rather, 41. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star where? In glory. Amen? Glory to God. Glory to God. So now we are seeing this scripture unfolds to us. Our glories are not what? The same. Our glories are not what? The same. So we continue our teaching on our glory differs. This will, this will be the part three. Our glory what? Differs. Our glory what? Defense. Amen. And it is very important, as I laid in our previous sessions, that you lay hold of this. Glory to God. Even what I was saying earlier, do you realize that once upon a time, that which is big today, at the point it was what? It was small. Amen. So, if you are at the stage where maybe it is small today, though your destiny is, is going to be what? Big. You say your beginning has been small, but your ending is going to increase what? Greatly. Now, you cannot take the load or the pressures of your ending now on you. Because why? You don't have, you might not have the resources or the capacity to what? Carry it. But keep the dream in front of you and handle what you have the ability to handle what today. Don't run your life because your neighbor is doing this. Other than that, my friend, you will die before your time. Tell your neighbor, I don't want to die before my time. Tell your neighbor, I don't want to die before my time. Amen. So if you don't want to die before your time, then there's a need for you to lay hold of this teaching that your glory differs from what? Another person. Hallelujah. Amen. And at the day, the time for your manifestation of your glory, there's a season for it. I said there's what? A season for it. So if it is not your season today, don't kill yourself. If it's somebody else's sin, celebrate him. I say do what? Celebrate, celebrate him. Because if we don't do that, if we don't understand that our seasons are different, our glories are different, we will be engaging in antagonistic activities against one another. That is, we will be destroying one another, opposing one another, tearing one another down, undermining what? One another. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Why do I have to tear you down because you are succeeding? 
Why do I have to undermine you, destroy you, disturb you, uh, 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 destroy you, stab you on the back, but bite you, but mouth you, do everything just because you appear to be going forward? Hallelujah. Glory to God. I made you to understand that your neighbor's success, your neighbor's glory, your neighbor's uh, attainment in life is not supposed to threaten you. Rather, you must see that your neighbor's uprising becomes your resource. Are you following me? Your breakthrough, my friend, I'll be stupid enough to walk. Hate you, envy you, jealous you, jealous about you, by bite you, talk on you, against you, because you are rising up. You are becoming better. You are, you are building houses. You are making inroads. You are possessing things and things is happening for you. My friend, I should be rather be happy because why? Let's assume that you knew Obama when he came out from college. Let's assume you knew him. And now, maybe he might didn't have maybe, uh, what do you call it? He even managed to walk by foot. Let's assume that. You know him in the same neighborhood. Hi, ah, Mr. Obama, how you doing today? Hey, Jack, I'm fine. How's work coming up? I mean, you talk. Then in the process of time, the guy become what? Well, the president of America. Now, why should you be angry or jealous or tear him down if you really 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 know what has been made available to you should you do that don't you know that right there you have access to the white house because of what his uprising so your neighbor's uprising should not make you sad did you hear what i said your neighbor's uprising should not make you what sad. It should make you what happy. Even if you cannot catch up with them, just be what happy. Because all of us cannot do the same what things. And in this session, I'm trusting the Spirit of God to bring deliverance to the body of Christ, to bring healing. To the body of Christ. To stop unnecessary struggles. That we go through the body of Christ. To stop it. Many of us. Your blood pressure is so high. Just because of your neighbor's success. <laughs> Amen. You are having sleepless night. Just because of what? Your neighbor's what? Breakthroughs. Are you with me, somebody? Because all night, all that you do is what? Think about what? Them. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hmm. Hallelujah. So, my friend, if somebody bought a car, or bought something, a plane or something, it's because the admission demands for what? That particular object, that is why they got it and they can what? Afford it. So, I'm happy for you. No, it's not mine, but I'm happy for you. Why? Because someday, 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 you might catch me in the bus stop. You happen to be passing by and it's raining and freezing and all kinds of things.